hey guys welcome back and now this video will uh, walk through the exploitation part of uh, ssh port that is the port number 22 and you can already see on my screen that i have uh, two instances running simultaneously on uh, virtual box first one is my kali linux the attackers machine and the second one is metasploitable 2 on which we are going to perform the ssh attack so uh, I have already uh, executed the command ifconfig to know that uh, I have my IP address for you know for attack. So moving ahead, first thing uh, we already know that uh, first thing we need to do is to perform a nmap scan. So let's just perform a nmap scan, and we'll be providing we'll be using the parameter sa aggressive scan that is. And uh, the IP address is 192.168.10.6. And of course, I'm not logged in as root, so I'll need to provide my password. Okay, so we can see that the host is up and uh, all scanned ports, and but we didn't see you know the information we wanted to. So let's just. Uh, perform a stealth scan we just need to change the parameter here for stealth scan uh, we'll provide the parameter uh, hyphen s so now you can see we have bunch of information we already know uh, that what these are these are all the ports that are open on this vulnerable machine uh, you can see all the ports are open state and the services that each port is running on like we have already exploited the FTP port so now we are going for the SSH port so now that we know that SSH port is open on this machine what we need to do is we just uh, let me clear this terminal what we'll do is we'll open MSF that is Metasploit so now you can see my Metasploit is active we have this cute ninja image over here so let's just ignore that and move ahead with the attack. So what we need to do is we will search for the auxiliaries, auxiliary uh, which has ssh, uh, sorry, ssh hyphen login in it. Okay, no results. So let's just say ssh. Uh, login let's just try without it hyphen okay so here you can see that uh, we have this auxiliary scanner and ssh hyphen ssh underscore login so we are going to use this one you can if you want to take notes or something like that you can just pause the video and uh, note this so to use this auxiliary what we need to do is we will use the use command how ironic it is that we are using use command to use uh, auxiliary so let's just paste it here and now you can see that i have this scanner named in red so that means that uh, scanner is in use let's just clear the screen so what we need to do is first we need to know that what all the parameters are required uh, in order to run the attack so let's just say use show options to see whether uh, what we need to provide it so anonymous logging we don't need this we don't need this brute force speed just uh, keep it uh, on five only uh, let's just see what we need to do is okay our host our host is the target host you can see we need to provide this this is required also uh, our port is already uh, provided stop on success is false uh, it means that uh, like if you have a file of 10,000 or maybe a million password or username so when it finds a successful match it will stop because otherwise it will just keep on running and you won't be able to stop it maybe you will be able to stop it but it just doesn't make sense if you have already found the match so thread is just keep the thread on one username uh, we don't have to don't get confused in between user file and user pass file user file is uh, 
a file where users usernames are only uh, only usernames are there but in user pass file we have usernames and passwords on a single line separated by you can see space so i have already have this file of course it is a demo file uh, to you know to make sure that you understand how attack works so i have this bunch of uh, the first uh, all the first names represent the you can say username and the seconds are their password so here you can see that i have the uh, correct one on eighth number so let's just see how it works so now what we need to do is set first set the r host let's just clear my screen let me just clear my screen set r host we'll use set command to set anything r host that is 192.168.10.6 and now that our r host is set what we'll do is uh, we'll set uh, stop uh, on success and just provide it true stop and success is true that means uh, whenever the valid match is there it will stop the attack and you can just uh, you know interact with the machine now so now our our host is set and uh, stop on success is set on true what we need to do is we need to provide the file so what we'll i'll do is i'll just user i'll use the set command again user file user pass file it is and now we need to provide the uh, path for that file so my file is in root or you can say not in root uh, specifically it is in let's just find where it is so I don't remember the exact it is on desktop but I don't know which one I'll just list it okay cd desktop now listed pwd okay home this is the directory so I'll just copy it and paste it over here okay so uh, one thing I forgot to add the file name so make sure when you uh, provide the path you provide the file name there is no need for extension so now that we have set our user file also user pass file which contains our usernames and password sample usernames and password which will be using for this attack let's just uh, see if we need to provide anything else okay so brute force speed is already provided uh, anonymous logging we don't want that and uh, our host is provided uh, to uh, stop and success is true now and we have port we have threads and we have the location of our file now we are good to go what we need to do is we just need to run uh, you can run this uh, attack by either by typing run or you can type exploit so I'm gonna go with exploit. So here you can see that it is attacking, it is starting a brute force attack on this IP address with the SSH port. So let's just see what it does. And for general knowledge, uh, you know, brute force attacks takes time because it usually goes from, uh, you know, it usually try all the inputs. And uh, here you can see that we have a success match that is msf admin and msf admin and so here you can see that sss session is open the session number is one so we need to interact with this session that means we need to you know interact with this machine we have successfully hacked so what we need to do is we'll use session command and we'll use the parameter i that is for interact and the number of which a session you want to interact with I want to interact with the first session so starting interaction with one so here you can see that uh, it's blank so if I print who am I so here the magic happens I'm the I'm inside this machine basically so if I type MSF uh, let me just type, type who am I so here you can see MSF admin I am so let's just try some other commands pwd i have this let's just try ls we have this folder over here and uh, we can just move into this folder 
enable folder now list we have some bunch of files over there so let's just try the same thing over here uh, let's just list we have vulnerable folder and vulnerable now just list the same thing we have here so that means our attack was successful and we were able to exploit this ssh port on this metasploitable 2 machine so so if you like the video uh, drop a like and if you have any questions you can comment down or you can reach out to me on my instagram channel and uh, all of the rest uh, videos will be coming up soon We'll meet again in the next video. Till then, keep learning and bye-bye.